thank you very much. So I'd like first thank organizers for invitation to speak uh, here. So it's a great honor to speak in you know, the conference celebrating Arthur's birthday. And uh, I guess I should apologize at the beginning that uh, uh, I'm not really, you know, I'm kind of new to this uh, topic and uh, probably I'll make mistakes. So uh, experts should correct me at any time. So like, uh, as uh, I guess uh, Professor Bloch just said, physics is difficult. And I think periodic Hodge theory is also difficult for me. <laughs> so I just try to appreciate the box. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's just uh, recall the following uh, basic. Uh, maybe let's put it a little bit. Sit up. So let's see. Start with k over qp finite extension. So it's periodic field, and uh, recall that. Uh, 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 let me write here. So rho, a, a periodic representation of the Galois group to some vector space over QP is called the RAM. If, uh, if you consider the following, you first turn to V over QP with the Fontaine's pairing Pure ring B drum, take the Galois invariance. Then its dimension is the same as the, the dimension of uh, V. Okay, so uh, this concept is, uh, this notion is important because uh, we know that any periodic representations coming from geometry, namely realized as a action of the Galois group on the et al homology of some smooth projective algebraic varieties satisfying this property. This is known as, I guess, as a Fontaine's conjecture and proved by various people. Like, so uh, I, the situation I'm interested, very interested, ah, yeah, I should say this is a joint work with, uh, let's see here. Okay, so the situation we are interested in is the following. So suppose x over, over k is, a, let's say, smooth, uh, let's say, connected, uh, rigid analytic variety. So I could start with algebraic variety, but eventually, I need to go to the analytic geometry. So let's start from here at the beginning. So let me just suppose L is a, let's see, QP, or maybe let's see, just for some place. Yeah, it's the same thing, I guess. Let's see, ZP local system on X. Et al local system. And uh, suppose for, so if you are given a finite extension K and the point on the variety, let's see. Then you can consider the stock of this, uh, uh, of, of this uh, local system. So then the stock, it really can be considered, I mean, if you probably wanna consider the a geometric stock over a geometric point, and then the stock is gonna be a representation of the Galois group. Okay, so it's gonna be a periodic representation. So here's the theorem. Uh, I'm gonna explain. Maybe. Or maybe. So, uh, like. okay. so uh, the theorem is following. If for some point, one point 
x l x r is drawn, then l y bar is drawn <coughs> for every point. Let's see <coughs> y in some finite extension it could be some some other. Any, over any finite, ex namely over any classic point, the, the, the corresponding Galois representation is drawn. Okay, so you will see, in fact, uh, the proof is really simple, but uh, let me guess, f first make a few remarks and uh, give an application before explain the idea. So let's start with remark. The first remark is uh, you can ask the same question if you replace uh, uh, drum by crystalline, but then, of course, this is uh, not correct. Like there's definitely the family of varieties at uh, most points and this has good reduction, but uh, at some point there's a similar semi-stable reduction, for example. Hodge, you can also ask the Hodge-Tate version. I'm not sure. I guess it's a fourth, but I know I counter example. Okay, uh, the second is, uh, this is uh, this situation you can think about. Uh, what about for the semi-stable? I, I don't know. I mean, it should, it should. Be correct, but uh, let, let's. I just understand what is beat drum so far. So, <laughs> okay, maybe later I, I, after I understand more sophisticated pair of rings, it could be. Okay, so the second is this this L you can think about it's a family of uh, periodic representations parameterized by a uh, by the variety X. So, usually it's called uh, like a geometric family, but there's a uh, Another notion uh, which is important in studying Galois representation is called arithmetic family of periodic representations. Namely, in that situation, instead, in, instead of having a et al local system on variety, you consider uh, the, the Galois representation, uh, a, the Galois group acting on a vector bundle on some uh, uh, rigid analytic space. And in that situation, I think this is, the, the story is completely different. Uh, I think it's uh, like, so probably this arithmetic family. And then there's, uh, I think in this situation, uh, I, if I know, understand correctly, it's proved by uh, Brajay and uh, Comey that this uh, drum locus is uh, closed. No? Uh, yeah, fix, fix uh, under some condition is closed. Under some condition. Analytically closed. So, so it's very different from this uh, geometric situation where you just uh, require the representation to be drawn at one point. You get uh, the drum is everywhere. So one, I think one should really uh, compare this with uh, this. Uh, I should, one should really compare this with. Uh, this result of the link, which he called the principle B of the, the link, which is the title, which says the following. So, if suppose you have a x over s is a, let's say smooth proper of of move map of a complex. Varieties, and uh, let's say S 
smooth connected, a, a, a complex edge ring. Connected. So uh, uh, then if you have a family, the family of Hodge class, classes, I check the book, which says uh, IE, a global section of blah, blah, blah. It's really a global section of some sheaf on S. This is a setting which is, should be horizontal with gauss manning connection. Then if TF. Uh, it's kind of first class is where? In RQF? Uh, or which end of one? Green T, which end of one? It's a family of Hodge class parameters by S. What does it mean? It's a global section of something. Of what? Can you write it down? Of R2? I mean, it's written in the book uh, in this way, in the introduction. It's, it's a little bit complicated. I need to specify the RAM component, the et al component. Uh, so. Don't only it's a section about INF or star of the RAM. Yeah, it's, uh, at least there's a the RAM component, but uh, you may also want to add the et al component uh, to. Are you talking about absolute Hodge cycles? Yes. Absolute Hodge cycles. Yeah. If TS is absolute Hodge at one point, it is, every, it is, it is absolute Hodge at every point. So this is what he called uh, principle B, which gives, uh, I guess, such as the title of the talk. Okay, so uh, maybe before, again, let me j explain the application of the theorem. In fact, also the motivation of the of of the of of this work. Let's start with. Uh, Let's consider G a reductive group and uh, X is a family of uh, like Hodge structure with, uh, uh, with G structure, namely it's basically uh, several copies Hermitian symmetric domains. Then attaching it you have, and let's see, K is an <coughs> open compact group in the G of finite ideals. Then you get the Shimura varieties. Which is uh, like at the level, it's a quasi projective variety whose set of complex points, C points, are just given by this double, co co double quotient. But uh, 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 the, the theory of canonical model says that uh, it's, in fact, it's a quasi projective variety defined over some number field. Called the reflex field. Let, let me not uh, go into the detail, but just say there's such thing. Now, if sup let me make the following assumption. Let's assume, like, let's see if the Q point of in the center is discrete. I mean, this is a technical assumption you can ignore in Z of finite adels. So, make this assumption. Okay, suppose I have a V is a rational representation of G. Then, the, then I get, the, in fact, the uh, Bayley local system on this complex variety, just the associate construction, because G, GQ acts on this vector space, you can take the associate construction. And in fact, the theory tells you in fact, what you get is, uh, is a tau local system. On E. Okay. For NMP, you get the really a, a tau local system. You, I mean, a priori is defined over C by this distance to E. So you, you are working with which kind of the tau shapes? QL shapes? Or? Q 
QP. So fix P is this QP. It's a QP at all because it's fixed and P. On the Shimura variety. P is a... V is a rational... V is a rational representative defined over Q. Ah, just over Q, not yeah. over Q. Yeah, rational. Q rational, let's see. And then you specify some P to talk about the etau local system, and if you get something over here. Over L. This is a, the, the setup. It's general theory on, of the, the canonical model gives you such thing. And then the, 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 the color law is a, mm -hmm. color law is, in fact, for every F over E finite extension and uh, a point. F point, then the corresponding the stock is a, then it's Galois representation of a Galois group for F then is drum at P. Okay, so this is going to be the color. Rate. The proof is uh, simple. I mean, this uh, some observation for chi one nine. That uh, in fact, uh, because on the Shimura variety there are like, some very special points called special points, you can check the the corresponding at a local system is drawn there. So by the theorem, it the gives, gives you everything. So uh, I should see this again. There's a remark. This this theorem this color is not. It's, it's, it's not new if uh, the Shimura variety is like, is, if it, it, it is some special kind of Shimura variety. It's, namely, if this is, this is known, if I guess uh, GX is of Arbanian type plus some conditions. Because uh, in this situation, the sh it is known the corresponding Shimura variety just parameterize, parameterize certain Arbanian motives. I mean, those some motives appear in the Arbanian varieties. And the, this local system are just the, the local system of their periodic realizations. Uh, excuse me, I, I, I think you mentioned the Kai Gun Lam, the result from which result? Uh, I mean, th this is, uh, I mean, how to prove the color. Yes. I mean, it follows from a suggestion of uh, Kai Gun Lam. So, uh, so this is known for Shimura varieties of Arbanian type, but it's not known in general because uh, for general Shimura varieties, I mean it's it's expected uh, I think from Dunning that the Shimura varieties should should parameterize motives, but we haven't uh, in general we don't know where to find the motive, but uh, nevertheless. We know, like their periodic representation, uh, periodic realization should be drum. So, maybe at one day, maybe we could one proves Fontaine-Mather conjecture before <laughs> finding the motives. We we'll get uh, something we need. Okay. So, but the, not knowing in general. It is now. No, it is not. No. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. This wasn't. No. Okay. All right. So okay. So anyways, uh, you know, I don't quite understand in, in, in this special case of the billion type variety how the v get enters. So really, I said I need some condition. In fact, not every v. v. It's some v really attached to. I mean, yeah. So I said that there's some condition. Not every version. Even in this situation, you only for some v you know. But uh, now it's. Uh, but in your corollary, it's for every V? Yeah, every, uh, yeah, every V. But, like, but I, I want to make this assumption like uh, the center, Q point of the center yeah. is discrete. Right. One can relax this uh, condition, then it's not for every V. But uh, okay. I mean, you, at the, first you need to descend the, construct the local system on the Shimura variety. That requires, 
not uh, for not for every representation you can construct it. Okay, so anyway, so this is I mean this the whole idea is try to get what uh, ever you would expect. Uh, like for example, try to construct the Stukas on this kind of Shimura varieties without finding the motive. Okay, so I think that's uh, the introductory part of the talk, present part. So now I want to get to some the idea, some idea of the proof, which you will see kind of easy. Uh, sorry, I have a question. Uh, is the theorem fault for QP local systems that don't have a ZP lattice? I th I think it's okay because uh, locally it's a, you see this is you see this is really a local theorem. It's a local theorem, so locally you do have ZP lattice. But uh, let me just yeah. okay. So let me so the there are two ingredients needed in the uh, in this in this uh, proof. So let me see the first one. The first one is uh, we need uh, this uh, uh, recent, like this pro et al topology and on the rigid analytic variety and the purity shifts introduced by Peter Schultz. So uh, so now let me assume x over k is a smooth maybe curve. Just. Uh, I mean, to prove the theorem, I can as assume x is curved, but uh, you can just save the notation. So then, let me introduce a few more no notations. So I need uh, k n, which is k adjoint to the second of root of one, and uh, we choose it compatible. And uh, it gives you the element. Inside the k flat, where k is, uh, I guess, uh, just uh, you take the union of all of them, then take the periodic complex. OK, so uh, I also need uh, new the map from the pro et al side, I mean, maybe from the et al side, like, uh, which appeared yesterday. So a typical object object here, let me just uh, draw the picture, is the following. So I can I can consider u some open, at an open subset, and take a uh, toric coordinate, so absolute standard torus, which is part of uh, k t inverse, okay, t, t inverse, and then I have this tower of. Uh, Finite it all covers. And then there's uh, this uh, project limit. Formally, I denote by a uh, t infinity hat. And I just take the fiber product. So this is uh, like this system, in fact, gives you a. a this is a et al, and then the final et al that gives you an object in the in the in the pro et al site, which I let me write it as uh, let's see spa a a plus a n plus, and uh, this is a a plus. Okay, so uh, a infinity. Let's see, so a infinity. Uh, so a infinite plus is uh, you take the limit of a n plus complete, and then the infinity is a infinity plus you invert p. This is standard, but uh, we want to consider the 
the Galois group of this tower. So we get uh, uh, gamma, this Galois group. So, so the quotient is uh, the arithmetic Galois group, and uh, then I have this geometric Galois group, which is isomorphic to ZP1 with a generator gamma. Uh, gamma acts on, I guess, T1 over P to the N. That's, uh, zeta p to the n t. And here I also have the cyclotomic character. Okay, bye. Okay, so this is a basic uh, setup. And uh, uh, I also, let me see. Where do I put it? Okay, I can go this way. So uh, what we need is uh, really some period shifts on this space. So we have uh, mm, what we really need is uh, uh, okay. So let me think. Let me, should I write it? Okay, let me write it. So I have integral shift o x plus, which is uh, on the pro et al side, which is just the pullback of the integral pro chief on x et al, and it's a complete, periodic complete version. So inverse limit. Sorry. Huh? So, uh, what we really need is, uh, mm, and of course, I mean, the, the rational version. It's just uh, you invert P, but we also need uh, this uh, important period shift OB drum. I mean, this appears before, but I follow uh, Schultz's notation. Uh, so it's defined as follows. I mean, uh, yeah, maybe let me just give you the definition. So I have, first of all, I have B inf, which is, uh, which is, uh, this a inf x appeared in yesterday's talk, I guess, invert p. So uh, then there's a ob inf, which is ox tensoring this b inf, which admits a map to ox hat. So, I mean, because of this, I'm, I could start from algebraic situation, but uh, here, because this completion, I do have to go to the analytic situation. So, and uh, then OB drum plus is just the, the uh, completion with it, with respect to this map. So, and and then you uh, OB drum is OB drum plus inverted t. Okay, so it's, it's usual. So, I mean, this is complicated, but uh, uh, let me just uh, tell you what I really need. I mean, this is, uh, I don't, this is something quite complicated. So, the, what I need is the following, some properties. So, first of all, by definition, OB drum is an OX module, right, because, uh, OB inf is an OX module. So the second property is there exists a filtration given by uh, the filtration by the uh, kernel of theta. So there's a filtration on the run, such that uh, if you uh, restrict, I mean, in general, it's uh, it's very hard to describe this shift, I think. 
except uh, if, but we, if we pass to some object in the pro eta set, like uh, u infinity hat, in, indeed we do have some uh, description. So grow i ob drum is uh, gonna be uh, ox hat when you restrict to uh, u infinity, then you adjoin the, a variable. Here, v is uh, t inverse log of uh, t flat t. Oh, I mean this uh, is uh, the i really comes from the action of the arithmetic gal, so I think it's a tensor with cyclotomic character. Mm, yeah. So then the, you, if you just uh, change the definition, the, ga the element the gamma acts on T is, uh, it maps T to T, uh, sorry, acts on V, maps to V goes to V plus one. Yeah. Okay, so another th important thing I need is uh, there exists a connection on OB theorem. Okay. So okay. So this is why. So uh, maybe. So what does it mean? I mean, it means uh, okay. Ro really, it means uh, there exists connection. Means uh, probably I should put it uh, here and write down the meaning. There's a map from OB drum to OB drum tensor with omega x. So omega x, which is just the, the pullback of the usual shift on the etal side. Okay. So, okay, so now really the theorem comes from, from the following two propositions. Proposition one, If I consider E i, which is uh, i's direct push, derived push forward of uh, this shift. Oh, by the way, if I have a etal local system on x, I can pull back to x pro etal to get a local system there. So I, if I just do this push forward, this is a vector bundle. And uh, proposition two, if you consider its stock, I mean, oh, sorry, its fiber and one point, let's see if the x is the residue of x, then this is exactly, I think, consider the hi of the Galois cohomology of this Lx bar turns E draw. Okay, so come, to get these two propositions would imply the theorem because I mean, you get a vector bundle if it's a rank and one stock is uh, the correct rank, and you get uh, the rank is correct everywhere. So, uh, so in fact, uh, to uh, prove Proposition two, I mean, I just need the E zero in proposition two, but to prove it, you need to use all the i's in proposition one. Just consider E zero, E zero is not enough. But the, to prove, so, I mean, to prove this is vector bundle, the, the, the crucial observation is because it has a connection coming from the connection on OB drum. So, so it's really a vector bundle with the connection. Integrable connection. Connection means integrable connection. So to prove it's a vector bundle, you just need to prove it's a coherent shift. So that's, uh, I think, the main observation. 
one of the main observations. So it's a finiteness, a, it's a finiteness problem to prove some shift, which is a probably huge. This is a huge ring, and this pro et al cover is huge cover. But uh, what do you get? Something is finite. But uh, anyway, what, uh, so if you look at the, what you really end up with, if you from the uh, cube local system, you get the vector bundle with connection. So it's, it's kind of a Riemann Hilbert thing. But uh, the only problem is that it may not have the correct rank in general. But if it has correct rank at one point, it, it's correct everywhere. So it's basically the Riemann Hilbert. Okay, so I, what I really need to, But if it is the RAM, are, are the higher HI zero? Huh? If it is uh, the RAM at one point, are the higher HI zero? No, H1 is not zero. Yeah, it's H1. I guess no H2. So, okay, so I really need to prove this coherence shift. What about problem number two, is that difficult? Uh, that's not difficult, but uh, yeah, I mean, if I have time, I maybe just comment on that. But the key, crucial thing is the proof proposition one. So, so yeah, prop, like uh, OB drum is much larger than B drum at the, at the beginning, so you need to do something to, it's okay, but, but okay, so, so see, to prove it's a coherent shift, it's really a local statement, so I, I can, I can assume like uh, X is, uh, I mean, I can assume X is like this. This is my X, right, no. It's, so, uh, so then the, the starting point, how do, how, how to calculate some direct image, so the, then the starting point is uh, it's really this uh, 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 business of like this perfect toy thing appears is uh, you first uh, the, the, if you just the, the HRI, the I derived push forward when you evaluate at U, which is there. This is really, can be calculated by some Galois cohomology. Otherwise, you don't know how to calculate anything. But uh, now you just, so, I mean, this really follows from, I guess, uh, this is implied by R, uh, because there's no higher cohomology when you restrict, restrict this shift to O infinity hat. When you restrict, it's zero. But uh, how do you know that the evaluation of U of Ri new lower star is the same as the ice cohomology? So you could also consider the the, the ice cohomology of U is coefficient in a derived angular star, which is more natural, so we probably yeah. have... What? So... Uh, well, I don't understand you. You can consider R new lower star in the derived category, mm -hmm. evaluate it on U, and take the ice cohomology <coughs> group. And this is, seems to be more related to the right-hand side. Uh, and oh, then you have to the, the same as... She fulfills the right-hand side. Yeah. Uh, so, so the right hand side is a pressure for simplification is R I new lower star, and uh, you have to prove that it is actually the shift is something else. Is is I think I at the end I prove the right hand side. Uh, uh, mm, I think I I'll just I guess I should prove the right hand side is a shift directly. Okay, so, uh, 
Okay, so now I want to, uh, what I need to show. Okay, so, so really I want to show the following. So this is a HI. Will be drop. It's a finite A module and the compatible with a top is compatible with space change. A is uh, here. Yeah. It's uh, just a global series. If you prove that it's compatible with base change, then you will get this. Yes, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, all right. Okay. Uh, so, what? So phase change of A, I uh, With A, a top base change, if you have a top base change. It's an A module, and then you tensor with A over B, uh, tensor with B over A, you get what? Okay. So, uh, yeah, so probably I have one. Oh, I prove that it's flat, but that, when we do that later using a connection. Yes. Flatness follows from the connection. But usually to prove it to both bases, you need to know flatness also. Oh, but the, here is because at how base, I just do at how base change. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, right, so now I use the fact that there's a really a filtration on this shift. So what I, I really need to show is I, after I take the associate graded, I get what I want and the, the cohomology for associate grade, if the, so let me just write it down. So then what I really want is uh, this guy. So, so want H i of gamma on the grow i be drawn. Maybe ten service yeah. L. J. Grow, J. grow J, different. This is a finite A module compatible with space change. And uh, vanishes. If J is large enough, isn't this Hodge tape? Hmm? Is Gur J R O B D drum is isn't that? I think it's old some Hodge tape. Sorry. Yeah, I think it should be old. You said you didn't. Would that prove the theorem? But uh, I mean, I didn't know it's a. Uh, you know, this guy would may not be a really a uh, vector bound. Is that Probably. Griffith's transverse, yeah, what do you get? The uh, definite satisfy Griffith's transverse set. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is what I want. So the problem is how to calculate this, but uh, let me just remind you, let me just uh, denote, uh, let me write m infinity hat as I evaluate this, uh, this shift. Uh, at u infinity hat, right? Which, according to this expression, so what do you really want to calculate? I uh, just, it's, uh, so what I really, this guy, it's really just hi gamma, so m hat, edge of the one variable. Like that. Okay, so, uh, so here comes the second key ingredient, how to calculate. Huh? J disappear. J uh, yeah, of course I need to. What is this? Yes, of course. Okay, so uh, here's the main ingredient I need. Uh, let me first uh, formulate it in a, uh, 
in a in a way that uh, uh, appearing in the work of uh, Catalaya Liu, but the, I, later on I will explain it the, um, also in another way. So so here's the theorem. So for sufficiently, ah, this is a. So for su sufficiently uh, large n, there exists finite projective a n ma submodule. So, so I guess I remind you, a n is just the uh, ring of functions on u n inside. I'm infinite hat uh, such that uh, stable under the action of under gamma and uh, induces uh, this uh, this is gamma equivalent isomorphism. And uh, uh, the HI of gamma of the quotient is zero for any i. OK, so this is a statement uh, we use. But let me explain it in, a, in, a, in another way, which more uh, Time is, uh, How do you get this V? Huh? When you say the filtration uh, that you have on O B the RAM, so you uh, uh, the, you take uh, the kernel of the completion relative to kernel of theta. So oh, why get the V? So you 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 should get things which are like rank one uh, vec, uh, modules over O X roof when you take this filtration, yes? Yes. And now, how, so is this the filtration you look at, or? or? The, the filtration, um, yes, I just wrote. Down. Yeah. Which is relative to the, the powers of the kernel? Uh, yes, yes, but when I take, yeah, but when I, you take a T inverse, it becomes this, uh, it you it this v appears. I mean, it's it it, it was in uh, Peter's paper. Ah, the p is the. You invert. Uh, you you take the filtration on b o uh, o b pro, uh, o b plus according to the kernel filtration. Then you after you invert t, you get something larger. T. Yeah. T. Yes. Uh, t is the yes. Of yeah, yeah. That's something. So, uh, all right, so let me, I have a, uh, 10 minutes, I guess. Hmm? 12 minutes. So uh, let me get to start. The point is, uh, in fact, uh, this theorem, uh, this part is uh, somehow strengthened the, uh, this periodic Simpson correspondence, first considered by Fortins, but also Abbas and uh, so, uh, so what? Let me just understand in th that content. So, see, uh, um, I can because this question is local, so I can assume. Let me assume L. This is, I mean, I start with a ZP local system. That's good. So this is small, which means L modulus on P. To alpha is a trivial for alpha big than is this uh, bound? Okay, so in this situation, what uh, in fact what uh, I mean? I just really need a very simple part of that uh, correspondence, uh, Simpson, Simpson correspondence, which is uh, in fact there exists a unique M K finite projective. A k module with uh, a linear action of the geometric fundamental group. So, 
such that m hat infinity is isomorphic to mk tensor ak of uh, uh, what a infinity gamma geometric equivalently. And the, in addition, the, the, como the cohomology, which I of gamma, geometric on MK, is the same thing as HI of gamma, geometric on M at infinity. So this is uh, just a very, a very, I guess, very basic version I need. So basically, if you just take, and it's just mentioned, if you take the log of theta, that gives you the Higgs field. Right? And that's, uh, I guess, uh, I, let me ignore the tape twist. So that's, uh, that's uh, uh, Simpson correspondence. And uh, this statement says that uh, the, the Higgs cohomology, Higgs cohomology also calculates the Galois cohomology here. So this is uh, something you need. So, uh, therefore, what you, so, so then you reduce, then one can show, if you just uh, consider the HI of gamma geometric, Jim, on M hat infinity of this V. So now I can ignore the uh, cyclotomic character for a moment. This is gonna be, there's a map Natural map of MKV. And this map is going to be an isomorphism. This, one can show this easily. Uh, so, really, I want to calculate the uh, HI of this guy, which is, oh, it's good, it becomes uh, smaller. It's, it's much smaller. So, uh, okay. So, now, the uh, geometric fundamental group uh, gamma gem is really simple. It's just a uh, topological group generated by one element, uh, gamma. So uh, you, ex you just do the following lemma. You just do the following lemma. Uh, For a linear algebra, which is good exercise, so so let M be a Q vector space with uh, gamma as an uh, automorphism. Then you have this. Uh, let me write M uh, generalized invariant subspace to be just those M such that the gamma minus one um, is zero for some uh, large enough, just a generalized eigenspace, correspond to one, then you see what you get is the following, then, ah, yeah, and uh, let me consider definer action, gamma act on M adjoint variable V, as just as before M, M V, goes to gamma m v plus one. Let's see, i goes to i. Okay, so it's just uh, the, pro you tensor these two actions, one is on m and one is on q v with gamma x by shift. So basically the, the algebra acts as derivation. Then, right, the gamma invariance of this guy is just uh, m generalized invariant. And if M equals M generalized invariant, so if it's all the space are generalized eigenspace, the gamma co-invariant is, if I remember correctly, it's also, uh, it's zero. Okay, so this is linear, uh, little linear exercise in linear algebra. So now, what I really need is uh, the following simple but crucial observation. MK, uh, generalized invariant, this equals MK. 
So you can, now you can apply, therefore you can apply this lemma to the situation. This lemma tells you this guy would be just uh, mk if i is zero, and zero if i bigger than zero. Then you re reduce to calculate certain Galois cohomology of uh, the arithmetic Galois group, which is kind of, uh, I mean, the finiteness is kind of easy there. So this lemma, I think this is interesting. It's really equivalent to say the Higgs field. Interesting. It's new potent. Okay, you really get the new potent Higgs field, but uh, this is not not really quite surprising. Namely, originally the uh, periodic Simpson correspondence is a local system gives you a Higgs field, but now my local system L is not the, just a local system on X capital K. It's a really a local system defined over this. Uh, x over little k. So there's the action of arithmetic Galois group on it. So that for, in fact, the fourth is the, the Higgs field is new point. And basically, you just check because of, let me write the, the generator here as delta, delta. Because of this delta, when you base change to k, is isomorphic to L base change to k. It comes from arithmetic fundamental group, uh, local system on x little k. This would force this m k with this Higgs field is isomorphic to m k of chi delta theta. Maybe my plus or minus, I can't remember. Whatever. The, that means the characteristic polynomial of the Higgs field must be, I mean, all the coefficients of the characteristic polynomial of the Higgs field must vanish, so it's new potent. So this is exactly the or, classic proof by like Simpson when he proves if a local system support a complex variation of Hodge structure, right? It, uh, but, oh. Does it mean that your local system is a is a Hodge state, is a Hodge state local system? Uh, it at the end it's a uh, uh, why? But you are proving that theta is important as you said in ah. Simpson it corresponds to variation of Hodge structure. Yes. In this case, it corresponds also should correspond by really? the okay. Hodge state the local system. Oh, the RAM, the RAM, yeah. the RAM. Is it the RAM? At the end, it's the RAM. Yeah. At the end, it will be the RAM, but it will be. Uh, no, no, but the, the, the whole system is the RAM? The whole local system is the RAM at the end. It could be even more Hodge state because theta equals zero. No, that's weak. Uh, 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 oh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe, I don't know. But uh, I mean, I just want, I think this means, in fact, that uh, if the local system really comes from arithmetic, it has a Higgs field, it's new potent. I was just observing that this is purely analog of what an X argument for the local mount is not only zero. Uh -huh. Exactly. I see. So proving that the coefficient, the characteristic polynomial, zero, because it's strong action of the uh -huh. radical, yeah. exactly, right. exactly the same. Yes, yeah, okay. So, okay, I guess uh, from here you get this, then it's. Uh, the wrist argument is, uh, it's not, yeah, I think I, uh, probably I stop here. So just one question, you described, you said you assume that L is small. I mean, it's uh, not really assume, see, in this theorem of Carlyle, they pass to some an, okay. which is really go to, go to something, make it small. So it doesn't. Okay.